everybody, in this video I'm going to be running down what to expect at the Apple WWDC 2015, so let's jump right into the video. Okay guys, as I said, I'm going to be going through the WWDC 2015, and I've got some notes here on my computer to help me explain this to you guys, so let's just go right into those. First off, the first thing we can expect is iOS 9. Basically, iOS 9, Apple really is going to be focusing on optimization and stability. Before iOS 9, we can expect iOS 8.4 to come out either this week or next week. They're going to fix a lot of bugs in that operating system itself, but Apple really does not like to have bugs in its operating system, as we know, as they're constantly releasing updates to their devices. And really, they want to iron out most of those bugs with iOS 9. So really, they're going to be doing that as well as making over the design. They're going to make it more of a modern user interface, and they're going to steal a lot of things from the Apple Watch. They're going to take the font from this watch along with the modern look of Siri and other new features from the watch and implement them directly into iOS 9. New features are sort of a myth. We don't really know too much about those right now. However, we do know that Apple is going to be ironing out the bugs, stealing a lot of features from the Apple Watch, and implementing something that will differentiate iOS 9 from iOS 8, whether that should simply be uh, quick control center features or add-ons or things like that. We do know it's going to be a lot more stable, a lot quicker, and a lot more modern for the devices. With iOS 9, we're going to have OS X 10.11. Basically, that's going to focus on refinement and stability again. OS 10 10.11 is going to be similar to iOS 9, have the modern look. Yosemite was a great update for all of the Macs, but OS 10 10.11 is going to be similar update to iOS 9. It's going to bring all of those operating systems together, and there will be developer previews for both of those out in the public, so I'll be doing reviews of those later in the summer. Apple's also expected to be releasing a paid streaming service from Beats, which is actually expected to compete with Spotify and may replace iTunes Radio. As you guys know, Spotify and Pandora and many streaming services are very, very popular nowadays. Apple actually does not have a great one of those. They really require iTunes downloads or iTunes radio. And with the requirement of Beats Music, they're actually planning on releasing a new streaming service to compete with all of those. Also, they are expected to release new products at this conference. They're going to be releasing an Apple TV 4th generation. Apple TV 3 right now is great. I have one. It currently costs $59. I think they dropped it from $100. Uh, and it really works well, has a lot of good streaming services on it. With that, Apple is actually expected to release their own video streaming service as well. Right now, they only do not have one, but they only have Netflix and all of the pre-made uh, other companies, standard companies on the Apple TV. Apple wants to compete with Netflix and companies like that, so they're going to be making a streaming service as well. It really would work great with any HD TV. They're going to have a whole new control with it, and it may even have a 4K display uh, adapter with it, so that would be great. Other rumors are saying that there's going to be a new Mac Pro with new processors and DDR4 RAM coming out. They may update the iPod Touch line with the iPod whole line being updated as well as they haven't done that in a while. And really, that's about it at the WWDC 2015, but I'm really excited for iOS 9 and the whole Mac operating system update 10.11. So I'll do reviews of that for you guys. Hopefully you stay tuned for that. Um, I'm really going to enjoy those. And I really, really enjoy this new Apple Watch, and I like that they're going to take some features from that. Maybe we'll even see uh, some digital crown features on these new devices as well. So stick around, guys. Be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up as well as favorite. I've also got my social networks down there in the description, as always. I've got links down there for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps for free, so check those out. And just stick around. I do updates a lot on all of these devices, so stay tuned. WWDC is June 8th to 12th. I'll be doing updates, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.